All right, guys, so real quick before I get to the end of the video, uh, I want to go over something. So my friend who uh, I shouted out his YouTube channel and I said I would give away two decks the moment he reached 1,000 subscribers, he's also doing a giveaway as soon as he wins 1,000 as well. So we're like halfway there. All you guys have to do, it's so easy. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button as it comes up. I'm going to leave a link. But guys, I know it doesn't take that long, and he's a good friend of mine, so make sure to help him out. Anyways, guys, here is the video, and best of luck with the giveaway. All right, so here's how the trick is going to work. All you need is, let's say, like this little deck of cards here. And uh, you could have the spectator go ahead and pick the card one by one, and those they could say stop, you know, wherever they wanted to. But in this case, let's say we have them pick it face up. And in this case, let's say we pick the five of spades. So um, you could have the spectator sign the card um, if you want to, but considering you are having the spectator pick the card face up obviously there's no way you could you know uh, know what card they're gonna pick or have a duplicate or whatever so let's say we take their five and let's say we put this in the middle somewhere let's say back where we found it so in this case we'll put it right here right in the middle of the deck and what I'm gonna do is take this blue box don't mind the hole in it if anything this kind of helps out the trick so as you guys can see there's nothing inside the box and that hole make sure of that so we stick it inside you guys can see what's going on in the middle of the deck here I shake it up and just like that as I take the cards out, you guys will see every single card has actually now changed to blue, except one card, and that card is going to be yours, the five of spades. So this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys can do the trick. So um, the good part is is that it doesn't really require too much. It does have a gimmick, um, but it's really easy to make. So all you need to do is make a double-backed red card just like this, and then you guys are pretty much ready to go. So I use some double stick tape like this. Um, in order to make this card here and then what you want to do is take another piece of double stick tape and put that I'll put it in the light so you guys can see it just put some double stick tape a strip going down the middle you could put more along the edges as well as long as that doesn't get shown or seen by the spectators you guys are pretty much good so make sure you make that card like I said nobody's gonna see that double stick tape as you guys can see you can barely see it on the card right now so go ahead make this gimmick and then we are ready to go with the next part of the trick so once you have that you're gonna put this on top of the deck here and this is basically going to be your setup so you don't have to come out with the red or with the red deck or I mean a red box but you should have maybe for like the final effect you, you could have like a blue box or something it doesn't matter but um, the box does add a little bit to the effect so let's say we have the box here and then uh, the card stays on top, you have, you have your double stick tape. And what I did to make it look more like I had a red deck was you could go up to the spectators and you could say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and have you pick any card from the middle here. And as you're kind of talking to them, you can kind of just riffle down the side and then um, just make sure not to riffle too hard, uh, not showing that blue, but you can show a little bit of like the white border. This way it looks like you're being, you know, like more casual with the cards. The spectators won't really, uh, you know, suspect anything. So let's say we have the cards here. You flip it face up, you start off, and you say, you know what, um, you know, I could have you pick a, uh, pick a card, you know, going one by one. And all you're doing is putting the cards in the middle grip and fanning over a couple cards at a time. And then showing, and then just casually flashing the back so they can see the red card. You say, look, you could pick, you could pick any of these cards here, uh, but here's what I'm going to do. So let's say you just keep flashing the cards, making sure not to show the blue card here. So let's say if you have the cards out jogged a little bit on the right side. You don't want to flip it over like that, so you have to make sure that you use your index finger, push that card back in, then you can flash the red card, and then you say, actually, you know what, I'm just going to have you pick a card face up. So as you square the deck back up, you make sure to put this red card back on the top, so it goes back on top. You spread the deck out, you have them pick whatever card they want to, and then you just want to make sure they don't look at the back bit, obviously, so you can put that on the table, um, or if you're you know, standing up, you could just flip the deck over with your hand. But let's say you put the card down, you flip the deck over, and then now you put this card face up flush with the deck. So you say, look, you could have picked any card in this case, uh, the nine of diamonds. You make sure it's squared up before you actually set it down on the card. That way the edges and stuff, you know, like line up. So you put it on lightly, squared up with your fingers, and say, you know what, we could sign this card. Um, but, you know, you pick the card face up, so it's like there's no way I could know. There's no duplicates. So now at this point you want to make sure that the card doesn't spread over too much either because you have all these blue cards behind it. So what you have to do is a wrist kill and you put this on the table. So they say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put your card in the middle. So you can put it on the table, make sure to only grab the single card, or actually you have three cards here, but you know the spectators won't be able to notice it if you just put it on the table and stuff like that. So make sure you take the card, you do a wrist kill. So all you have to do is move the deck 
away from the card and that way they can't see the blue the blue card here so you put this down on the table and you say you know what let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put this back in the middle where we got it from you pick the card up you sandwich it and from this point the trick is pretty much set all you have to do is put it into the box like this make sure to put it face up this way they can't see the backs you put it face up square or just shut the box you can shake it whatever you want and then when you open it back up make sure to open it with the back showing and say look so now the entire pack has turned blue except for one card you fan it out and you show them that one card has turned red and make sure when you flash this card all you're doing all you want to do is really flash it up and down this way the edges can kind of stay concealed so you show it you say look your your card is the only one that actually stayed red and you can flip it back on top and that's pretty much a trick i hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching She's a literal man.